Hey there! My name is Elon Osborne, and I like to talk about movies, audio, and music. And recently, you've been bitten by the RO3D bug. You've got yourself a 10.1 configuration going now, but how the heck do you set it all up? Well, if you have a Denon or Marantz AVR, feel free to follow along as I use my Marantz SR7015 to get it all started. So just to start off, since we are dealing with a 10.1 configuration with RO3D, you have to have an external amplifier since this Marantz SR7015 is only a nine channel receiver. So as you can see on the left, I have a Basics A3 amplifier from Emotiva and underneath that is the Outlaw Audio 7000X seven channel amp. So the physical connections to create a 10.1 RO3D configuration using all of the internal amps that's possible and then using the one external amplifier channel is as follows. You would connect your front right, front left, center, surround right, surround left via speaker wire into these terminals here, as well as the front height right, front height left, rear height right, and rear height left via these terminals here. And you can do so either by unscrewing those terminals and putting in bare wire or using banana plugs. And as you can see from this graphic here, you would need to connect one RCA cable going into the subwoofer two preout to the RCA input of your external amplifier, whether that be a one channel mono amplifier, two channel, three channel, whatever you happen to have. So you go into your subwoofer two, And we'll plug the other end into the Basics A3, like so. Voila. And then you'd run speaker wire from this terminal to your Voice of God speaker. And that's pretty much it for the physical connections. Okay, in the setup menu of your Denon or Marantz, go to speakers manual setup, amp assign. Since we are using an external amp to power the voice of God channel in this first scenario and all the rest using the internal amps, in this case, we want 11.1 .1 channel assign mode. We do have five channels in the bed layer, left, center, and right, and two surround channels. Height speakers, we do have five channels. As you can see, you've got all these scenarios five channel, four channel, two channel, none. But since we have the voice of God, we want five channel height speakers. Layout, front height and surround height. And you can see that little voice of God speaker right above the listening position in the middle. At the bottom, you can see support format, Dolby Atmos, DTSX and RO3D. Nice. Just for a second, let's view terminal config. You can see front, center, surround, Front height, surround height are all lit up. Surround backs are grayed out. Subwoofer one, you can see shows SW for subwoofer. Subwoofer two output shows TS, and that is your voice of God. I believe they label it as top surround. I think that's why it's called TS. But just so you know, that's voice of God. We'll go back, speaker config. Even though I have large towers, I still want to set my speakers to so that I can change so that I can change the crossovers. If you set your speakers to large, you are no longer you are no longer able to set the crossover to what you want. It just sets it as full range. So I do want to set some crossover boundaries, so I'm going to leave it at small. Center. Yes, we have a center speaker. We have a subwoofer. One, technically, yes, because we just have the one subwoofer out, even though we split it into two since I have two subwoofers. Surrounds, small. Front height, small. Surround height, small. Top surround, small. Yes. And as I was mentioning before, in this scenario, we can change the crossover frequencies of all of our speakers, depending on the frequency response of those speakers. Check in the manual for your speakers or online and see just how low the frequency response dips down to. Possibly it goes all the way down to 45 Hertz, 80 Hertz, 120 Hertz, 
It all depends on your speakers. Just for fun, I'm gonna put all of my surrounds to 120 hertz, including voice of God. But feel free to experiment with this as much as you can, because you don't want your high speaker frequencies to dip too low, or else they might not mix well with the bed layer speakers, and it might start to get a little bit muddy, and all the sounds are starting to jumble together. So if you want, like on a weekend or something, to mess around with crossover frequencies and see what works best with your system, by all means. Scenario two, let's say you want to utilize all three of the Basics A3 amplifier channels, and you want them powered externally. So it could be a combination of voice of God and your front left and right, or voice of God and your rear height channels. So going with that first example, with the front left and right, it would look something like this. Here's the front left. Over to this input. And then the front right underneath. Over to here. And then your speaker wires will connect into those terminals. So that's how it looks for that. Next up is the scenario where we power the front left and right speakers externally, as well as the Voice of God channel. So we're still gonna be in 11.1, .1, but the only difference is we actually do want to tell it to do five channel and surround back. Even though we don't have surround backs, we'll get to that later. But as you can see now, the front left and right speakers show pre on them because choosing five channel and surround back for your floor speakers activates that there now has to be an external amp involved to power all of those speakers. So five channel and surround back. We still want five height channels, correct? Front height, surround height, yes. Pre out, yes. We want to assign those to be the front left and right speakers. So now we go back to speaker config so like I said, we're still in the 10.1 RO3D configuration, so we don't technically have surround back channels. So you can see here, we have all the speakers in the layout that we want. And now surround back, we have labeled as none. Perfect, we actually want that. Because since the SR7015 is only a nine channel receiver, it can technically process 11 channels with the help of an external amp, but since we have a total of five height channels, we wouldn't be able to have two surround backs like in a traditional 7.1 system because that would technically be 12 channels to be powered. And this particular receiver just can't handle 12. But if you click on surround back, you do actually have the option of one surround back speaker. You technically could have a single surround back channel or also known as center surround, and still be powered by this Marantz SR7015 since that technically adds up to 11 channels. But we're not gonna do that for this scenario. Now let's switch it to rear height instead. We'll leave the RCA cables plugged into the Basics A3, but we will switch on the Marantz. Front left will then go to height to left. Front right, then go to height two right. Excellent. And that covers that scenario. So now let's do the scenario of powering the surround heights and voice of God with an external amp. We still wanna be in 11.1 .1 channel assign mode. We still want five channel and surround back as the floor layer. We still want five channel height layout front height and surround height yes but pre-out we want to change to surround height as you can see now the words pre are now floating above the surround height channels in the graphic cool back to speaker config nothing actually changes we actually have what we need front center subwoofer surrounds no surround backs front height surround height and top surround voice of god and lastly, what if you wanted every single channel to be powered externally, all 10 channels? Well, I would suggest doing it this way. I would first power all of the 
bed layer speakers, and front height channels with the Outlaw Model 7000X. And then I would power the rear height and voice of God with the Basics A3. So, front right, all the way over to this input. Front left, bloop, to the opposite end, center, to the center of the 7000X. Around right, to the surround right input, surround left, and to here. Okay, so we still have two open slots the front heights. So, height one right. Over here. Height one left. Into our last remaining channel on the 7000X. Okay. Sneak the voice of God in here. Subwoofer two, remember. To the middle of the basics A3. And then height two, right? Just the rear height channels. To that input. And Height to left to the last remaining input on the basics A3. Wow, every single one taken up. So let's go back to amp assign. We want to choose pre-amplifier mode. Whoa! Now every single speaker has a pre floating above it because we don't want to use any of the internal amps. We are powering all of it with external amps. We still want five channel and surround back for the floor. We still want five channel for the height, layout, front height, and surround height. All that is correct. Speaker config. Yes, we have fronts. Yes, we have a center. Yes, we have a subwoofer. Yes, we have surrounds. We do not have surround back. Yes, we have front height, surround height, and top surround or voice of God. Boom. Now that you have that set up, now that that is set up, back out of here. Now that that's set up and the receiver knows which configuration it has, now is the time to go back and run Odyssey so that it gets all the distances right, EQs the speakers so everything kind of meshes and gels well together. And honestly, that's about it. Congratulations. You should have a working 10.1 RO3D configuration now. And let's not forget about the subwoofer. The subwoofer one output still is going to send out low frequency information. So it's hiding underneath all those. So let's sneak it in. The Marantz is sitting on top of a subwoofer for convenience sake. So we will plug it into the LFE input. Now, as a bonus, you can see that I have two subwoofers sitting next to each other. I personally prefer two subwoofers in my home theater system, which may be true for you too. You may already have two or more subwoofers. So since you have to utilize subwoofer two as your voice of God channel, what do you do? 
if you have two subwoofers and you want to use them in a 10.1 RO3D configuration. Well, we're just going to have to daisy chain the two subwoofers together. There are two ways to do that, and depending on your situation, option one or option two might be better for you. Option one, use a Y splitter. It splits the RCA signal into two. So in scenario one, you'll want to plug this directly into the Marantz subwoofer one output. Okay, so it's in the Marantz. Now you've got two RCA cables you can plug into these two terminals. Okay, and then this goes into the LFE of one subwoofer. Plug the second subwoofer cable into the second terminal and plug that into the LFE of subwoofer two. That's scenario one. But that's really only convenient if you happen to have your subwoofers near the Marantz, because then you don't have to have very long runs of subwoofer cable. So let's say your subwoofers are far away from the Marantz or from your receiver. Then you can daisy chain from the subwoofer itself. I'll show you what I mean. Plug in just a normal subwoofer cable into subwoofer one and in the LFE input, that's where you plug in the Y splitter. Dink. So one is coming from the Marantz like so. And the other is coming directly from the other subwoofer into the other end of the Y splitter. Uh -huh. So that way, if your subwoofers are far away, you only have to do one long run and then connect the two subwoofers with a shorter run, which will probably save you money. Last but not least, don't forget to plug in the trigger cables. So that way your external amps turn on automatically just by turning on the Marantz. We've got our trigger outputs here. Number one. Let's plug that into the Outlaw 7000X. Number two, plug into the input of the Basics A3. Hooray! Thank you for joining me on this RO3D 10.1 configuration setup. Now that you got it all set up and have watched some TV shows and movies, how does it sound? Is it better than your previous Dolby Atmos or DTSX experiences? Let's start a conversation, people. As always, please be kind to each other out there. Don't just watch TV and movies, experience them. And of course, always be listening.